taking the final steps on a long journey, arriving to give evidence at the Royal Commission she fought to initiate. Senator Jackie Lambie started by acknowledging the pain of her family. I want to thank my two sons who went through a lot and watched their mother um, deteriorate so badly over a 10 year period. Senator Lambie's service as a soldier ended when she suffered a back injury during training. The Department of Veterans Affairs rejected her first compensation claim. Because there was nothing wrong with me according to them. Senator Lambie told the Royal Commission when she made a new compensation claim, the department put her under video surveillance. They were filming my children, they were filming my friends um, and they were filming me from within inside my house. Her service leaving her with years of chronic pain and legal battles, she tried to take her own life. I knew for me, my time was up. There was no point, there was nothing left of me. After that, I had no fight left in me. Senator Lambie told the Royal Commission that as she tried to rebuild her life, she joined community organisations and worked in a Tasmanian senator's office. She said her fight with the Department of Veterans Affairs made her realise she wanted to help other veterans and the best way for her to do that was to go into politics. Senator Lambie urged other veterans to tell their stories to the Royal Commission. Even if you do not want to do it for yourselves, do it for your mates. And because there is nothing else left, if we do not fix it this time, we will never, ever fix it. A call to arms by a veteran who doesn't want others to fight the same battles. Laura Beavis, ABC News. And if you're a veteran or serving member and you or your family need help, you can call the organisation Open Arms on 1800 011 046.